Every time I go in a trade now, I go in thinking I might be wrong versus a lot of retail, when they go into a trade, they're already calculating how they're going to spend all the money that they're going to make. TA is 10%, in my opinion. TA and the skill of learning where to buy and sell is 10%. 90% is the, the structure, the rule system and the discipline. Yesterday marked an incredible milestone, not only for myself, but for the entire Sniper School team. We officially finished our first cohort. And to be honest, the feedback's been absolutely incredible. I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I believe this is the best TA school out there. It is simple, it is easy, and it's accurate. And the proof's in the pudding. The community are doing absolutely amazing. I wanted to say thank you. I've been in crypto for almost three years, and in the last three weeks, this has completely changed my thinking. And Sheldon was a kickstart for me, and this whole platform, this whole kind of community has just been phenomenal. Blessed, lucky, grateful, excited. So what we decided to do in this video is actually bring you another live event. We want to show you that this is not only just a, a school, it's a community, it's love, it's passion, and it's been built off of a true story. And I see what you're doing, bro. Trust me, I feel the same. I want to build the same thing that you're doing and help people get out of a certain situation and become who they want to be in life. <laughs> people are saying amazing stuff and it speaks a lot to what you guys are building. And, um, you know, from someone who's who's been all about education for a long, long time, it's great to see so many people stepping up. Now, guys, you need to understand the next code is coming up. And we only have 2,500 spots left. I did a video previously and they're filling up incredibly fast. These are the following steps you need to do in order to get into the next cohort. The first thing you need to do is you need to open an exchange account using one of the links below. Now, once you have done that, you will then click on the Sniper School link, which is below, and you will register. It's then gonna ask you for a user ID. Now, guys, if you already have an exchange off of a previous banter link, you will then open a different exchange link and use that user ID. And you need to deposit at least $100 or more. This is your trading capital. You get to trade with it on the actual course. Now what I want you to do is sit back, relax, and watch one of the live events in action. We have Gareth Soloway on this one sharing his alpha. You will soon realize that this is not just a school. This is an incredible community. This is a family. I want you to be a part of this journey. You don't want to miss out. Hurry up and make sure you book your spot on the next cohort. Awesome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. People hello, hello, hello. In here. We've got Gareth Soloway in the house. We've got Sheldon the Sniper in the house. We've got Mama Sniper. We've got the whole mod team sitting here. Welcome to our Sniper School community. Welcome to all of our people who have made the effort to trek across the country to join uh, the team at the Banter headquarters there in Cape Town, Lucky Fishers. Before we dive into to the content, as always, really love to hear from the crowd. So going to invite anybody that would love to share with us. You can raise your hand or you can post a comment and we'll pull you up if you're comfortable to, to come onto the stage. There we go. We've got uh, Patricio again joining us from his awesome looking workshop. Hello, everyone. Hello from Mexico. So, yes, this training and this course has been amazing. It's been a lot of information to digest, or especially a lot of things that you wouldn't imagine that could be used for trading for cryptos and for all this stuff. So for me, I've been taking the course very like one st small step at a time, reviewing, making research about every single training that we had or every course or every subject on the training. And it's been just amazing. Thank you. And especially I feel more comfortable now. I've been doing some paper trading on TradingView, trying to put some some of the trading to the test to see if I'm a little bit more ready or not to do anything. But yes, yes, it's been great. It's been great. Thank you. And I've, and I've well been... Well done, bro. Hey, Sheldino. What's up? My... What's up? What's up? Well done. Sheldino, mi amigo. I love, I love the workshop, bro. I need to, you need to send me that picture. I want it. I want it too. You've okay. inspired me to build a, a trading den with a workshop in the background. I, oh, I think I, I want it. I think it's great. You know, <laughs> when it's time not to trade and the RSI is not reset yet, I can go build something in the background. That's sounds exactly, great. Uh, sounds great. Well done, bro. On uh, paper you. trading, on being committed. Um, let's just keep it going. Let's keep yes. going. It's, it's been a lot of information. So one of the things that I wanted to, to express is I'm not in a hurry to be a crypto millionaire. So i rather study a lot more before trying to to do something on the markets 
because to be completely honest with you, I made a mess and I lost some money because I didn't know what to do. So with all these trainings that you have given us so far, everyone is has, can allow us to make a little, a little bit more research on that and to understand it a little bit more. I'm not ready to trade yet. So paper trading, trying to have fun, trying to sleep well, because I remember those nights that you were sleeping with the phone right next to you with trading yeah. <laughs> and just waking up every half an hour. No, 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 no. I just leave the phone upside down now, just waiting there while it recharges during the night. And I sleep so much better now. Thank you for so that. It's absolutely, that's the key. That's the key. Not to, not to disrupt your life crazy. Cause I did it for a very long time. Laptop next to me. How many of you don't lie? Put your, put your hand up that the first 10 minutes in the morning, you look at what, how much Bitcoin is <laughs> like, like, don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. Everyone. <laughs> it's so bad. It's like this. <laughs> I'm sure Gareth, Gareth, I actually want to ask you, do, yeah. do you look at the Bitcoin price in the first yeah, 10 minutes absolutely. in the morning? <laughs> absolutely. I, I mean, heck, I wake up in the middle of the night to pee and I look at the Bitcoin. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> now I make my coffee first and then I look at the Bitcoin. Price. <laughs> what has this space been. done to us? What has this space done to us? It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> thank, thank you so much for sharing your experience again. Awesome to hear from you and, and to see what an impact it, uh, it's made. Let's let's hear from one or two, two other people. Let's hear from Bomi Rupa. Hey, Shalino, how are you? Hi, Gina. How's everybody? What's up? What's um, up? What's up? Oh, you're the Northern Northern Lights over there. Yes, I'm enjoying the Northern Lights. At least this I, I can get in I Dubai. You have a beautiful view. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. But I want to say thank you, a big thank you for everything that you have done. The course is amazing. We have learned a lot, especially with the group. Uh, a big shout out to Mason. He has been very helpful. Really good, amazing team. Shalino, I should say. Gina has been supportive wherever it's required. Thank you. Thank you for everything, guys. We have learned a lot, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. It's a lot. We will miss all these uh, online uh, chats that we have and the teaching that you give us one-on-one -on -one with your experience. But uh, be rest assured, we are there on the sniper chat. So, yeah, you will hear a lot from us as well. Thank you, bro. That means a but, lot. That means a you. lot. Thank you for everything, Sheldon. Sheldon thank you. <laughs> It's an absolute pleasure. And a, and a big shout out to Ran, who mm -hmm. made this happen. And Mama Sniper, thank you for everything. Tita, we're going forward for Tita. Be rest assured. Tita's going. <laughs> yep. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> Amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so Ram. much. I think what you mentioned is this is only the beginning. Like I said to the crowd that was here this morning, you might have been here. Uh, so it will be a repeat for some of you, but this is really the beginning. Those conversations in Discord, you have access to that chill and chat channel. You have access to your team voice channels and your text channels moving forward. I'll give you an overview of all the things you'll still have access to. So it really doesn't end here. This is really just the beginning of, of the start of building this amazing networking community for continued trading um, you know, knowledge sharing and enjoying enjoying working together. Thank you for sharing that. Let's let's hear from Liam. Hi, uh, hi everybody. Um, What's up? I, good to good to good to connect. Um, I am. I feel really grateful that a crypto school and sniper school came along for me. Um, I feel absolutely completely lucky that I got to learn from some great teachers. And I don't know if it's true to say it, but I feel extraordinarily blessed that the market is the way it is at the, at the minute. This is a really good time to learn all this stuff. I won't go so far as to say it's like paper trading, but if, if, if you're anyway careful, you can't lose that much at the moment. The markets aren't doing so. It's a really, the whole world, the whole universe seems to have bent in my direction and meeting you guys and uh, getting this opportunity. And, just uh, want to say hello to Bryce Mann, who's in Cape Town uh, with you guys, because he put me on to it and uh, blessed, lucky, grateful, excited, just. But it, for a guy like me, that the markets are low, it forces me to come to terms with my emotion. You just can't make the market move with your heart. You can want it to move, but you just can't mm -hmm. make it happen. You got to wait. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolute, absolute, absolute pleasure. Like, well done for also being motivated 
in this time. And I think it's a lot more what people need to understand. Like this, this is the, this is the time for you to learn and to, 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 like you said, there's not much, the markets are down. Maybe there's, there's one more capitulation. I don't know who believes that the market may be a 10,000 uh, Bitcoin. We'll speak to Gareth about that. Actually, I'd love to see if he expects uh, uh, the lower range, but ultimately this is the perfect time. A lot of damage is done. This is the time for you to push um, time for you to take your time. I, I think this is going to take a little bit of time to recover. So you have time. And I think that's one thing you'd be grateful for because the bull market comes out of nowhere and it comes so fast, probably at three o'clock in the morning when you're busy sleeping, it just comes out of nowhere. And then the work, the real work starts where the non-sleeping, the grinding, that all happens. So enjoy your rest now. Uh, enjoy building the structures now. Um, remember what I said previously, just try figure out as deeply as you can what you actually want crypto to do in your life. Just try deeply to understand what is it exactly and build the roadmap for when it happens. You know what I mean? Be ready for when it happens. And it's not about when it's going to happen. Are you ready for when it happens? So well done, Liam. Thank you so much. It just, means a to lot. Say, just to say, I don't think you can learn from you, Sheldon, without getting a sense of the structure. Do you know exactly. what I mean? If you, you know, like if, if you don't have structure, you're gambling. No, you're gambling. 100%. TA is 10%, in my opinion. TA and the skill of learning where to buy and sell is 10%. 90% is the, the structure, the rule system, and the discipline. Thank you. Thank you, Liam. Thank you. Guys, I want to remind you again, the cohort is filling up very fast. It's the three simple steps. Use an exchange link below and deposit $100. If you already have a pre-existing account, open a different exchange and deposit the $100. And then you're going to register for Sniper School. And then you're going to put in your user ID. Get your spot now. Awesome. Thank you, Liam. Oh, I see so many hands up and I want to hear from everybody. But of course, we do have limited time. So I'm just going to ask to, for some of the new names that are popping up tonight. And then we'll come back to some of those of you who are our loyal speakers in each of our workshops, um, which we so appreciate. Let's hear from you. Is it Benoit? Can you hear me? Yes, we can, we can. hear you. Yes, hi guys. Oh, you're My joining me. We're in the same place. We look, we, we look <laughs> exactly. like we, I'm just we're in the, the same place, the bro. Okay, I'm coming for a beer. On the after. other side of I'll the see bridge, you now. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you after. Okay, amazing. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think I just want to rebound on what everybody said, right? Thank you very much for all that energy for bringing us together towards, you know, structure, robotization of our brain and not, you know, gambling the money that we might have lost, which I did. And, um, well, I, I'm so blessed and happy that you guys came in my life and helped me. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you. I'm coming for a beer after this, huh? <laughs> exactly. You guys, okay, you guys okay, are okay. all more welcome. You come in the first of France, we go and have a party. Amazing. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Please. Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. I've got to share a comment. Abrila Assam has just said, I was at a mental breakdown before joining the school. I'd got sucked into the trading space and lost a major amount of life savings. But Sheldon's story helps me keep going. And now going back to the basics has revived my mind. Thank you, lol. No more sleeping with laptop in bed and the ability to spend time with my children getting my life back. What an amazing comment. Wow. Thanks for sharing that, Grant. That's awesome. Let's hear for one more for now. Let's hear from, is it Akorere? Did I say that correctly? <laughs> Please correct me if I'm wrong. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you, bro. I see you oh, with Elon my... Musk on Mars. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I believe I'm speaking to you, man. I've always spoken to existence that one day I'm going to speak to Sheldon, man. <laughs> and just tell him, listen, like, man, one day I'll see you face to face and you really see how much this means to me, brother. Like, I've come a long way. I understand, like, your struggles. I've gone through struggles. And I think I started watching your video since around January. And I've just like, I remember that whole, every time I, I get excited, I used to work from home. So I'd have mm -hmm. your video on my on the side and I'm just like, yeah, get up, be positive. And I just always used to, just that even that message there, used to just get me through my days. And then I started to like get in. Then I remember I just, there was a point where you're like, listen, you don't have money, start trading. And I start, I tried to get into DeFi, I used to like miles. I tried to like, oh, DeFi, mm -hmm. learn how to invest. But then that one thing that you said, you said, listen, you're not going to do, you're not going to get to the gains with where you want to go if you just want to start investing. And I started trading. I do IT right now. So technical analysis has always been something that I've enjoyed. Okay. So I started trading and I just enjoyed looking at the charts. I wasn't, I enjoyed looking at charts, enjoying learning trend lines. 
started to have my own little strategy. But the one thing I could say personally was the emotion side. I didn't understand how to control emotion. Then I have a strategy. Then doing this course is like I've written down everything. And it's like all of them has come back on the course. But I have literally everything you've told about portfolio management. I've been writing it down since all your videos that you've put on YouTube. So like I'm a big fan, bro. Trust me. That means gonna, a lot, bro. You're going to see, see me. You. Come you're see gonna, me, bro. Trust me. I told you okay. speak to existence, man. When I get my portfolio there, I'm going to come. Trust me. Trust me. It's been it's a come vision see for me, me, bro. Trust I'm me. Absolutely you will. amazing, bro. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> come see me, bro. Me, bro. I want to see you. Let's go have a good night. No don't worry. Thank you, you bro. Thank you're you so much. You're an inspiration, man. Trust me. People really <laughs> look up to you, man. I do. Oh, listen, I have my own story and we'll share it together, bro. I've come from a, a dark place and now I'm out of there. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm telling you now, keep doing what you're doing. You're a hero, man. You're you're our Batman. You're a silent <laughs> knight. You're protecting everyone. I see what you're doing, bro. Trust me. I feel the same. I want to build the same thing that you're doing and help people get out of a certain situation and become who they want to be in life. <laughs> Listen, We've, everyone has a journey. Everyone has a look at my, my mom always used to tell me, look at your fingers, look at your hands. They're all different. Your everyone's journey is different. And we're all going to get there. We strive together. Have a community. You've built something different. You ran. I am so blessed. That's all I can say to have found you. Thank you so much. Right thank now. you, bro. You're a hero. Thank it you. To your mom as well, man. Stay strong. Don't bam. No tears, man. Come on. No tears. <laughs> means a lot on. to me. Thank you, bro. Sheldon. You've got a thank you've got you, a new bro. name. You're no longer Sheldino. You Batino. This is the new. Yeah, this is the new <laughs> <laughs> thank you so thank much for sharing. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Guys, I just wanted to I, let you know that. Thank you so much, guys. I see all the hands up. I'd love to take your commentary, but we do have Gareth for limited time. And I just want us to dive right in and get all the alpha we can while we're still here. So if you have comments that you aren't able to share um, by unmuting, please do share them in the chat. We, we're just loving hearing. I got hearing, to speak um, to the main man. Jesus, I'm so happy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. So I think let's move uh, on, Sheldon. Sheldon, I'm going to hand over to you now. And between you and Gareth, you can sort of banter away and do your thing. Um, I see Sheldon's got a beer there. You see this is celebration. Yeah, give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. I've just, uh, I got it. Coming, I, say, I think uh, before, before you dive in, just want to say, I think everybody basically encapsulates everything that you have done. But I think the hours that you spent, the family sacrifices that have been made, I mean, not real sacrifices, but the sacrifice of time that has been made for you to deliver on this course, uh, I think a big, big shout out to you. I mean, massive shout out to you. And um, I think you, you've thank really you. done and, um, an incredible impact. Incredible thank impact. You. And also and, to and, Run, uh, who, who, who had this vision of crypto school. And uh, look at look at where we are now a couple of months down the line. So this is all super exciting. And let's let's get into the alpha that we've promised for, for, this, for this event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I do want to say just a massive shout out to the team. You guys kept me going. It kept me to Grant. We sat here. We, we, we pushed it every day. Uh, to run. I remember at one point I wanted to quit and he just uh, grinded me through it all. So the team, thank you so much. <sighs> okay, Gareth, sorry, I had to get myself out of the no, it's emotions, okay. bro. Into, <laughs> out of the emotions. It's, That's it's some amazing of, uh, stuff. Let me just, let me just say that's amazing. Um, people are saying amazing stuff and it speaks a lot to what you guys are building. And, um, you know, from someone who's, who's been all about education for a long, long time, it's great to see so many people stepping up because I think everyone that takes that leap and, and learns is, is you have to understand there are so many people in this world that just want to be given the fish for free. They expect everything and then they get upset when they lose. And, you know, those of you that are, are actually educating yourself, it doesn't just go right to trading crypto or trading stocks or commodities, but the things that you learn, including the discipline, right? Discipline is so important. It translates into all aspects of life, right? And it improves all aspects of life. And I think that's the important thing about it as well. So, so really cool stuff. Um, amazing, bro. Amazing. Thank you so much. So I think, I think let's, let's, let's start it off. I, I think let's start off the first thing as what I was saying previously is you came on the show last year. Um, you, you were complete opposite to all of us then. And I think for me, when I joined the space and you know, I came in when the market started turning bullish. Um, and I think I never knew what bear market or like, you know, even these really strong pullback, I never, I never actually truly understood it. Um, but you came in there saying, you know, like, this is what I see. And this was end of the day, you know, what I'm sticking to. And you stuck to it all the way through. And we went through two major bull cycles last year, which I'm pretty sure there must have been tons of times of temptation 
of, of, of slightly changing your analysis. If you don't mind just giving a basic view of like, what was your major lessons along the journey that like, I think it's a very important thing because people are about to build their foundations right now. And right. it's so important that if they build the foundation now and they build this whole powerful system, when that bull market comes, I think it's so important to emphasize to people how it's going to try change every single part. It's going to try change everything. When it gets there, it's going to try and make you change everything that you designed in the bear market. Yeah. And if you don't mind just giving a little bit of your process and like, how did you get to that space? Yeah. So it, for me, it was unfortunately going through the hardships of that type of thing, right? So so growing up in my first years of trading in the late 90s with the dot coms, it was so like I was having these flashbacks to the dot com era in when I was watching what was going on in crypto. And, the, you know, whether it's the emotion, the greed, all those things were going on. And and I had learned the tough way. Right. I was the I was the beginning trader in the, in the dot com era where I learned the hard way. I saw everything collapse. I lost money during that period. And, and there was, you know, it's interesting because every year in the markets, it could be commodities, stocks or crypto or anything else. There's always a bull market somewhere. And generally these things tend to repeat over and over. So and I wish I had some master like, you know, you know, formula, but it's, it's honestly, it was going through it so many times where you, you get caught in it in the beginning. Then you start to kind of, it's like touching a hot stove. You get burned a couple of times and you're like, wait a minute. And then it's kind of starting that discipline road. You start to kind of recognize the cues. You say, listen, don't get caught up in the hype. Um, and, and it's kind of building that framework for being that trader um, where you become much more robotic, right? It's not about the emotion. You learn to not chase things when they're running up and, and everyone else is chasing. So, so I think for me, that's what it was. It was just, it was learning from experience, um, you know, in my early years as a trader. Like for someone that's about to build their foundation now, it's exactly that, right? You know, come to your analysis, come to your basic understanding of what you want out of the space and mm -hmm. stick to it. What happens when you don't stick to it, Gareth? Like oh. just, just maybe if we could just touch on the topic of how this thing does try to change that mind completely when it's there. Because I think oh, yeah. that's the hard part. I think making the decision now, people know what they want and they can, they're actually smart. People think they can't do it. They actually can, but it's yeah. more the emotion drive. It's like, it's like emotions on steroids, like on a 10X, when it gets to a Bitcoin at 60 or 100K. And that's where it gets really tough. That gets really right. tough to actually take the profits. It gets really tough to actually like stick to it. Well, and the toughest that. thing is to not flip, right? I mean, you've watched it go up X amount and then to not, to not, you're going to get, the markets tend to make, they're going to push everyone to their limits, right? Even myself, you know, when Bitcoin last year was hitting that 69,000, it was just above that April high. I mean, I couldn't help but say, whoa, could I, you know, is this one of those yeah. times where I'm going to be wrong? And, and again, it's, it's just saying, I guess part of it too is, that always remember that there's always another trade, right? So you may miss Bitcoin, you may miss this this crypto going higher 10xing, but the discipline is what's going to ground you to not get caught off guard. And if you miss one, it's okay because there's another one coming around the turn, right? So you have to always remind yourself of that. And, and you will be wrong sometimes. Sometimes things will go up and you're not on board. But just remember that it's that discipline that is going to hold you safe. And being safe as a trader and being kind of that and put it to you this way is every time I go in a trade now, I go in thinking I might be wrong versus a lot of retail when they go into a trade, they're already calculating how they're going to spend all the money that they're going to make. Right. And right, it's, sure. it's going in thinking you could be wrong. That mentality that keeps you from putting your whole account in one trade, which obviously is not a good idea. Um, and also preparing. How are you going to trade around that position if you need to? Where are you going to stop out? What are you going to do to kind of limit the damage that gets done? And so, so I think that's really key as well is just having that game plan, having that thesis, right? And anytime you go into a trade, and this is the same with Bitcoin, is that even when we were at 69,000, I kept on asking myself, has my thesis changed? And remember, thesis isn't, oh, I feel it or my gut is telling me or anything like that. It's it's like it's got to be you got to think about standing in front of like Sheldon and and defending your thesis in front of him. And if it doesn't hold up to him, then it's not a good thesis. Right. It has to be technically based and everything like that. So. So, yeah, I mean, there's it, it's it's an amazing stuff. And, and and I think trading is just it's one of those things that you can do. And I always say this too, and I'll say this, I know you have a lot of the people that you educated here, is that the best thing about trading, and I always say this, is that 
You could be 95 years old in a bed. And as long as you can click your finger on a mouse, you can make money trading, right? <laughs> and so all of a sudden, it's very liberating in terms of financial freedom, where, you know, obviously, we want to save for retirement. But again, being able to make money almost at any point in your life by going into the, tr the, the trading markets is, is just an amazing freedom thing to have. Mm, mm, mm. Very true. Now, with that on quick, like you just spoke about that discipline. Do you have like a set structure now? You know, it's, it's all about trading like a robot, right? Right. Do you have like, a, so for me example, if I'm entering a trade, I have a four checklist. Mm -hmm. And basically what I need is I'm allowed to enter the trade if three of them are ticked and I'm allowed to go to the full position of that specific trade if all four are ticked. And what I basically have is I have two of those that buy like when I, where I think it should bounce or the area of where my analysis. And then I got top up indicators where now I've gotten it, it's moving the way I want. And this is how I top and I fill the rest of my position. And I make way. Have you got that sort of system for yourself? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. So I call them factors, but basically what I look for is at least two factors. Um, three is ideal. Sometimes you'll get more and they could be in terms of technicals. They could be, you know, um, double tops, double bottoms, bottoming tails, you know, things like that, plus a pattern or a time factor. And so, so there's different things that I'll look at in that respect. And then one of the keys that I think a lot of investors and I, I was talking to some traders this morning and they just didn't, you know, they weren't getting this aspect is that even when you have factors, you also have to do an analysis of risk reward, right? So if, if you're going to end up making 50 cents on a trade, but you could lose $20 because it's run up already, you know, for me, I, it may not be worth it for me to take even on a three factor trade, that trade, I may just step aside and say, you know what, I'll pass, I'll wait for the next one. And so it's, it's exactly what you're saying. It's having that plan ahead mm. of time, having that checklist, and then utilizing it. So we do exactly that. We are not allowed to enter a trade unless it's three minimum, to five and even up, up to the higher points that you, you actually scrap it. That's the first check you do Yep, is the actual risk to reward of it. And I think that that's a very powerful, powerful lesson. Have yeah. you got any major, like, are you a trend line guy? Are you a sports and resistance? Like, you know, I've taught them the basic of sport resistance of Fibonacci pullbacks of simple RSIs or these sort of thing. Is there anything that I'm missing that people should really like, you know, that, that, that works well for you, you know, like something, cause end of the day I've given foundations and I'm teaching my foundations, but I also want people to know that this is now a foundation and they need to now build the empire and they need to still take as much. Firstly, they've made their opinion and they've made the idea of what they want out of crypto. That's not going to change, but ultimately you can always take resources and, and knowledge from other people's to keep tweaking your, your strategies to ultimately get, you know, a, a better looking trading journal. I even got the guys on trading journals and awesome. trading journals are only there to improve yourself. That's what it's there for just to see, you know, what's happening when you're getting three losses in a row. Why, you know, it's there to just tweak whenever the market starts to shift its way. Uh, what is your major indicators? Have you got anything that, that, uh, you would like to just share, you know what I mean? Uh, uh above of, of just the simple support resistance and trend lines and possible yeah, so pattern. No, I was going to say, yeah, I, I keep it very, very simple. Like I, I use moving averages a little bit, but generally the bigger moving averages, because those are the more powerful ones. Um, Fibonacci, like you mentioned, support resistance, drawing my own trend lines. I don't put a lot of these crazy indicators on my chart, honestly, because I don't understand half of them. And mm -hmm. if I don't understand it, it doesn't, you know, it's not going to work for me. Right. So you always want to be under, unable to understand what you're using to trade, uh, so that you can adjust and, and kind of analyze it appropriately. But, but that's for the most part, like I'm a, I'm a chart guy, like in just the simple charts, show me a candlestick chart and I can look at where the pivot highs and the pivot lows. So, yep. so if you had to look at Bitcoin now, where's Gareth buying? What's his view on it? What's his, um, you know, just your step process, the way I, and, and the only reason I'm saying this, I just want to show people how everyone can have different views of it, like use it all. You know, use it all in a way to, to, to sort of move. What's Gareth looking for from Bitcoin now? When does Gareth want to buy? Like, what is your points? Like mine, personally, I'll just give it mm -hmm. is I have a stochastic RSI nearly hitting bottom on the monthly and the weekly. So for me, I know bottom range is near. Doesn't mean bottom's in yet, but it means bottom raise range and phase is, is possibly near. I then have, um, uh, uh, Fibonacci, I think it was, and I have the, the 14 K support, the resistance, mm -hmm. and I have a trend line on the weekly. Like I have a four step thing for me to like really on the higher time frame get yeah. in there. What's yeah, so your step at the moment? What's your 
So one of the things I'm keeping an eye on is, is that you can clearly see that the current price of Bitcoin is still below that June low right there of support, right? So we know that this is a drop. So this is technically a bearish inside bar pattern, bearish flagish in spirit of bear flag. And it hasn't even been able to regain the, the price point from June. So, so for me, that's a major issue short term for Bitcoin. I still think we could go up and touch that line, but that'll be a level that I'm watching closely. Um, overall, all, I continue to be in the camp where this area down here, which I think is right around your 14,000, you know, mm -hmm. 13, 14 area here, this is going to be a big level as well. And I do think eventually we retest that level um, on the downside. Now, for me, I kind of I kind of took it a step further when I was analyzing like where Bitcoin could bottom. I've been doing a lot of research because everyone wants to know where could Bitcoin bottom. And obviously, Please keep in mind that this is just an opinion based on the charting mm -hmm. and history. But for me, I, I basically took FTX's fiasco and I likened it to the Lehman Brothers collapse in the stock market. And this is where my stock education kind of comes in, where I can bring these things out that I went through as, as a trader and kind of use them. And so when Lehman Brothers collapsed, it was a bank. There was They took on too much leverage. They did some stuff they shouldn't have. And, and eventually they failed. Um, from that point, the stock market dropped 45 more percent till the March low of 2009, and it took about five to six months. So if FTX is kind of that scenario for the crypto markets, it puts the bottom on Bitcoin somewhere in the, I would say, the May to June period, right? That five, six months out from now period. And it probably puts us right around the ten to $9,000 range. The reason I like 10,000 in terms of a break point and thinking that we could break that on Bitcoin is simply that that's going to be where max pain is probably initiated for most crypto investors. So we know psychologically, um, investors probably will put stops at 10,000. Um, we know that psychologically, that's going to be like, oh my goodness, when, if Bitcoin ever breaks 10,000, it's going to be a fiasco. Everyone's going to freak out about it, which oftentimes can be the marker of a low in a chart or in, in, a, in an asset. So, I, I'm so pretty me, sure there's tons of liquidation sitting there too. Yep, um, exactly. and, and that's quite interesting because, you know, I, I, I was looking at it that, you know, emotionally as well, I don't know if you believe the market cycle. The, just the, the the simple market cycle. I believe we're still in anger phase. I still believe depression comes. Yeah. And what it basically means here is temporary, maybe push up in the market. I do have a slight indication where we maybe we may may have a slight push up, you know, for for a month or two. But then we do bleed down, and possibly that ten nine k. The emotionally wise, it makes sense. Do you feel the market is that you spoke about max pain? Do you think the market still has more damage? to be done emotionally to the people before oh, we can yeah. just start to make its way up. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, there's, there's no doubt that, that you haven't reached that because, and the reason you can tell that is because you still see people posting on Twitter and stuff like that. Oh, the low is in. I mean, here we go. And you know, every, every hundred dollar uptick in, in Bitcoin, it seems like that's kind of the, the thing that people are saying. And the, the key to bottoms is when people are just like, you don't, it's like crickets, right? No one, everyone's just depressed. No one's saying anything positive. You even get people saying that Bitcoin will not be here in a year or two. I mean, that's really the marker. And by the way, that's again, the psychological side that all of us that are, that are education fiends for crypto or anything, you have to be ready to withstand. You go back to your thesis and you say, is my thesis still valid? Even when I'm saying this, because it's going to make people even like myself question myself. And you have to be strong enough to just say, no, this is the thesis. This is what happens in bear markets. Let's withstand it and let's look for that, that reversal. Amazing. Amazing. I agree. Agree 100%. And I think, uh, guys, did you hear that? We have so much time to become so smart in this game before the next, like the, there is time when, when these big things, um, and, and, and these bear big markets, things, by time. the way. Yeah. I was going to say bear markets are the place where people make their money, right? I mean, this is, this is where it's not when you're buying at 65 or 69,000 on Bitcoin where your risk reward is horrendous. It's when the, the market is decimated and you're getting an asset that has major future value at such discounted levels. So, I mean, always remember that bear markets, if you know how to trade them, it's better than anything in the world in terms of generating money. Uh, yeah, to be honest, it's probably the only time you can make money. You know, it's all the hard work now. And then it comes to the next monster, the time yep. to sell. When that market goes bullish and you're thinking about Lamborghinis and yachts, you yeah, know, and, you and also, to, uh, it's time to sell. Guys, this school gives you the foundation to start your incredible journey. 
Once you have done this, you will soon see that crypto is not so hard anymore. It's actually simple and it, to be honest, it's one of the biggest opportunities you'll get in your life. Remember, we are filling up the code very fast. Book your spot now. I was just going to add one more thing too, is that just keep in mind that one of the keys to withstanding the emotional pressure of like a bear market is, is make sure not to over allocate funds, right? So, so the, the biggest thing is when you put a small amount of money into a, into an asset, you know, and let's say you start buying a little Bitcoin, you, you, you dang, dangle into it a little bit. You have to remember that if you put too much money in, when that asset goes against you, you're going to react emotionally because you're uncomfortable having invested so much. So it's very important to kind of decide ahead of time for each trade. What's your comfort level? When, if you have a full position of Bitcoin, are you going to be comfortable if it goes to 9,000? Because again, the market will figure out and just some amazing way it does this, it, it, knows how to attack you if you over allocate funds and it will make you do the wrong thing at the wrong time. It's crazy how it brings that out in you. Eh? It's, it's, it's absolutely um, insane. I think last question, Gary, thank you so much for the time, bro. Um, we have people that are asking, is it time to short Bitcoin? And I think this is a big thing now because yes, we still have a possible depression to come and we do have a possible another level to come to the deck down, but it kind of feels that we're getting bullish at a 60K Bitcoin. It kind of feels, you know, 60K now bullish. And now people are like, you know, they're trying to short and they're trying to like, you know, they're at these levels. What is your opinion on that right now? Is it probably best like to not even trade in that aspect of like, like, you know, let's rather wait for the bleed off and basically build up in that time. Like, you know, what is your opinion on people now bearish now and wanting to short now? Like, I, I just yeah. feel we, you, you, you're getting stuck in a mindset. I feel the damage is done. And I just feel if you are stuck in that mindset for too long, it's yeah. going to basically be the same as what happened in the bull market, just in reverse. No, no, you're hundred percent right. And, and again, this is where the risk reward factors in, right? So, so let's say Bitcoin goes to $9,000. You're, you're basically, your reward here is about 8,000 bucks versus if it starts squeezing up, you could lose 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000. Um, so I think that, again, this is a great example where people are trying to chase and chasing in trading, chasing is the worst thing you can do. And I always like to use the analogy of like, for some reason, investors, they're willing to like pay higher prices or in the case of shorting, pay lower prices. But like when we go to the mall to buy some jeans or a pair of shoes, we don't go to the mall and, you know, we see it on, on sale at a hundred dollars one week. And then the next week it's $500 for that same pair of jeans. We don't go, Oh my God, I got to yeah. buy 10 <laughs> pair of jeans. Like you so say, true. no, like, let me wait for this thing, you know? So, so that's the same thought process. You, you have to translate what we do at the shopping centers and, and the stores into your trading. It should be the same mindset. You're looking for deals. You're looking for sales. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it so much. Um, we, we should actually do a, a badass TA show. I think we should, buddy. To, yeah, to, thank to, you to guys for having me. And um, uh, you guys are doing great work. Keep educating. It's the best thing in the world. We're going to bro. 100,000 students in 2023. I'm telling you, 100 to 500,000 students. We got it. Thank you, there bro. Was, Thank you. There was one more, Gareth, before you jump off, there was one more question from, from one of our moderators, which sure. I think everyone can relate to. If you could give your younger self some advice on some of the biggest mistakes you've made along the way. Hard question, I guess, on the spot. But just off, off the bat, um, what would that be? What would, what would sort of the key differences be now that you know what you know? Yeah. So, I mean, it's Great the question. hardest thing is to do just one because God knows I made so many mistakes as a new trader. And by the way, for everyone listening, I mean, please keep that in mind is like everyone that is a pro now started out as a newbie at some point, making all the mistakes that you've ever made losing. You know, I lost 70% of my portfolio in one day, day trading. I mean, I, I, so, so for me, it would be, it would be go smaller and kind of be more humble in terms of understanding that any trade can go against you. There's no surefire trade. There's no hundred percent in anything. And, and really just don't chase, don't chase, you know, stay patient. Remember there's always another trade on the horizon. Amazing. Thank you. And I, I believe run run has actually joined us. So I wanted to invite him to just uh, say hi. But I'm surprised he's not on a Twitter spaces or was he doing something? He never stops. <laughs> oh. But Gareth, really from, from our side and representing the Crypto School team, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for the amazing stuff you've shared in such a, a short space of time this evening. I think you've shared so much so much value and uh, we look forward to hosting you again whenever you have the capacity to, to join us again. Wonderful. I'd love to come back. Thank you so much.
Have awesome. a good Christmas, bro. You too. Take, Take care, care, guys. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Take Bye. care. Cool. So, so Sheldon, are you going to deep dive into some of that stuff that you covered um, with us this morning? Give the give this crowd a view of of some of that, or you want to dive into questions? Um, so, so last week I focused, you know, I wanted to show the business and I wanted to show you guys how we, 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 we actually split these businesses up. Um, and last week I did, I ended up going back to TA and just helping everyone with TA questions. And I, I thought, you know, this morning, let's bring back the, the full understanding that the TA, TA is 10% of the skill and ultimately the business and understanding how to split businesses. Can someone just mute, please? Okay, there we go. Amazing. Okay, cool. So, so guys, last week we spoke about TA and this week, you know, it's about speaking the businesses and understanding how, you know, like we actually had questions this morning. What, what I ended up explaining and I'll go through it and I'll, uh, simply of, of what I spoke this morning. And then I'm going to go a little bit more into depth of some TA afterwards and give you guys a nice little round off. Um, remember we are working that if you finish the school, we're going to be looking at a three hour training session. So keep your emails and everything alerted for that. We'll be sending you when we're doing that. Um, so this is not the end. We'll be, there'll be one more big one together where we can sit and everyone with their computers and we can really, uh, deep dive and put everything together. Um, but ultimately what I spoke about this morning is businesses, right? Understanding that each part of your portfolio is a business. Each business needs a specific time frame that's attached to that business. And it needs a simple rule system. It then has a trading journal that's attached to it, which is there for improvements, which is just there to, to analyze, are you on the right track? And should I be tweaking something, especially when the market shifts? Now, the reason why you have the trading journal is you may be kicking ass now, but maybe all of a sudden the market goes extremely bullish next week or, you know, and all of a sudden you're not as good as what you were last week. And that's because the market shifted. It went into a different place. And that training journal is just a constant system. I don't want you guys to ignore that and to get rid of that when you think you're starting to get good now. You have to remember that you completely, you, you have to, um, continuously evolve as the market shifting and moving into the next phase, that trading journal is going to guide you there. But ultimately the way it looks is like this. I've used a $5,000 account as an example, where to start. I think that's the big question because people will just put in 5,000 and they have no direction on it. You need to, to capture that 5,000. What is it for? Ultimately, what do you want out of crypto? And once you know that, let's start to build a step-for-step -step business. Stop this looking at the end targets and that's where I'm going straight away. No, the success to crypto is step-for-step -step and building your way up the ladder. And the way it came down to is I have three major things on this example. I want to make a $3,000 salary a month. I want a $20,000 car and I want a $300,000 house. I only have $5,000. Sounds crazy, right? But ultimately, this is where the power comes of crypto of how you build this actual system. Now, what you do next, priority list. You can't build all three right now. Even if you have a lot more, you got a $20,000, $30,000 account. You cannot start with all three. The purpose of this is to not short the system, is to not try to take a shortcut. Oh, I got more money than you. I can start off at this level. No, you can't. You start off at step one. And when you have the right and you've built step one to the success, then you qualify to go to step two. And the reason why I'm going to be the one that sits here and teaches you guys this and tells you this, because even if you do have money to short the system, you are going to get caught and the market will suck you out very quickly at some point. And I'm sure a lot of us have noticed that throughout the bear market. At this space does not matter about how much money you got. It's about the consistency of how you can actually use this extremely volatile market. So you make a priority list. And the way I said it was the first thing I need this $5,000 to do is make me a $3,000 salary. Why? Because this gives me more time. If I have a $3,000 salary from crypto every month, I can invest more time in crypto. I can get better. And that's the first step. How can I invest more time and be financially set? A lot of people will just quit now and they'll come full time into crypto, but they don't have money every month. They don't have a business performing. They don't have any of these things happening. And in a day, you're just putting yourself, you're trying to get rid of emotion. That's the whole purpose of this is to learn to trade like, like a, a robot. And by you adding the stress on yourself adds emotion. Okay. So let's jump to the next one. Uh, I don't like zoom with all these things. There we go. Cool. So now I have business one priority one. And ultimately now I have a few options. With the $5,000 accounts, if I want to make $3,000 a month, I got to make 60%, right? 
what I decided to do was create four different scenarios. I only got 5,000 now, but what happens if I had 10,000? That would mean I'd only have to make 30% to make $3,000 a month. And if I had a $20,000 account, then I'd only need 15% to make $3,000 a month. And if I had a $30,000 account, I'd only have to make 10% out of $3,000 a month. Okay, cool. So I got a four-step roadmap of what the possibilities of me living and making that salary a month. Secondly, what have I done? I then put out all the time frames. Guys, this little bit of work here, this small little bit of work here has saved you a year to two years in crypto. Like we, 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 this has sucked us so long. We didn't even stick to this, this little simple structure here, understanding the timeframes and what the market is offering you currently. So the way you do this is you take your $5,000 and whatever your goals and whatever your businesses are. Okay. And then you go to your charts and you say, okay, cool. I'm going to take my one hour, my four hour, my eight hour, my 12 hour and my daily charts. I'm going to go look at the last month's data and I'm going to go see currently what does this market provide me on each time frame? Very simple. Okay. 28 trades on an hour chart, three to 5% per trade. That's what it's offering. And ultimately maximize, I can get between 80 to hundred percent. If I get all those trades at that level with good risk to reward or good structure. Now you are going to have losses and I'll speak about that shortly, but ultimately I just want to know what does it offer me? Then I have a four hour chart, gives me 12 trades a month. 8 to 12% per trade. How do I identify this, guys? The percentages. Stochastic. From bottom to top, from top to bottom. That's it. When it's from over, overbought to oversold to overbought to oversold. That's how you check it. That's it. You just want to see the range. A stochastic is such a powerful tool already. I'm sure a lot of you can agree with me. So, and what's this, what's this basically meaning? I could take 12 trades a month, 8 to 12%, ultimately giving me 95 to 120% gains off that time frame. The eight hour chart, eight trades, 12 to 15, 95 to 110. The 12 hour, five trades a month, 15 to 20%, 75 to 100. And then we've got the daily, which is only two trades a month, offering me 30 to 40% per trade and basically 60 to 80%. So firstly, what's beautiful about this is firstly, you've given yourself four options on how you could make this $3,000 possible. Doesn't matter what you're starting with. You're giving yourself four different options and you're giving yourself five different strategies that you can choose from with the current time that you have. And secondly, which strategy is more powerful? Guys, if you knew now just the simplicity that a day trader in your mind says, if I trade every day, I'm going to make more money. Okay. And yes. Okay, cool. Maybe in a boomer, that's fine. But if you look at the data right now, no, eight trades per month is the best strategy right now. Out of all of these, that's the best one. And it's crazy. That's just saved you so much. Now you think you have to trade every day. No, the best strategy right now is this one. Guys, and you can do this every month end. When the month end comes, you go through and say, cool, I'm getting ready for the next month. Let me go and go look at the last data. Let me build this whole thing for the month. Boom, 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 boom. Because the only reason you're going to do that is if the market explodes now, these will be bigger. And ideally, what it teaches you is to move with the market when it moves. Now, the big problem is if the market goes bullish now tomorrow and it decides to explode, right? And you're still stuck in this mindset, you're falling behind. So by you adjusting and changing this every month, once a month, guys, once a month, it'll take you an hour, not even to do that. It, it, didn't take, it took me two hours to build this all this morning. Um, an hour gives you the whole thing for the month and at least you're moving with the market as it moves. Then what it does for you, secondly, is now you can match the time that you have and now you can see, okay, cool. Which, which one do I want? Now let's go to the next slide over here. And here's the roadmap. Okay. I ideally see myself, if I looked at that little simplicity understanding of what the market offers me, I know that if I have $20,000 to make 15% a month for 3K, that one seems reasonable for me. That one seems, maybe the 30K, you can decide which one seems reasonably. But for me, 20K, 15% out of the whole month, I'm going to make one 15% trade or make 15% in total to make my salary. That one seems a lot more comfortable, a lot more comfortable than me having to make 60% a month because that's putting tons of pressure on yourself. So for me, I paint the roadmap now. Okay, cool. Business one, I need to get my account from $5,000 to $20,000. Now, a lot of people will look at it. They won't even have this middle step. 5,000 to 20,000. In your head, 
that's like, whoa, like, you know, the market's only moving like 10% every few days. How the hell, like 400%? No, remember, step for step. The first step is to get to 10,000. After 10,000, we get to 20, and it's 100, 100. So what it basically means is if I go to this previous structure over here, I look at already what's offering me the, these percentages and these sort of ranges. If I take a month to a month and a half of the eight hour strategy, and the reason why I'm saying a month and a half is to allow myself one or two stop loss hits. Remember, as long as you follow my risk to reward of three and higher, losses are fine. There's no, losses are no problem. You can, you can have five losses out of 10. Like, like it doesn't matter as long as you are continuously using that simplicity of, of the risk to reward. It doesn't matter because you're taking, you finally learned risk and the day you've learned risk is now, now you're starting to step up. But ultimately what it means, if I use the eight hour chart, a month and a half can get me to the target of the first step. Once I'm at the first step, I can then build the roadmap for the next one. Same strategy. And ultimately I'll give myself four months off of the eight hour chart in a market that is going dead right now. It's not even, this is on the current market guys. But remember now, in order for this to be on the current markets, you have to know how to long and short. I want to explain this again. This is not leverage. This is spot. What I just showed you now and what I'm gonna continue showing you now is spot accounts. It's absolutely incredible. But you have to know that it's longing and shorting. When the RSI is at the top, you're shorting when it's long. And that means on a futures exchange, on a 1X, no borrowed money, nothing like that, no liquidation, um, but spot to do that consistently. If you're only a long trader, it will take you double the time because the market's not always going to offer you longs and ultimately it's going to halve those trades. And it's the same with shorting. If you can only short and you don't have too long, ultimately it's going to take you double the time. If that's what you want, that's fine. You don't have to trade both ways. Just be realistic with yourself. Be honest with yourself. If you, if you keep creating this dream in your head, dreaming is fine. But the problem is when you're unrealistic with yourself is where you absolutely destroy yourself. Be realistic of how you can actually get to that simple uh, target. So ultimately a month and a half to get to step one. And from that, another month and a half, call it two months even, to get to this next step over here. Now I achieve my 20K business, right? I achieve it now in four months. That's great. Now, what has that done for me? Firstly, it's given me a basic understanding that I've built a business that makes me salary. That's all this business will ever do. It will never do anything more for me other than expand and build new businesses for me, but it has no other purpose than making me my salary every month. And that's beautiful. And what you do with that is now you wrap up that business that 20K business, you wrap it up into a time frame, you wrap it up into a, um, a, a rule sheet, you wrap it up into a, um, a trading journal, and that's it. It's in a box, boom, on the shelf, and you follow that damn system every day, and that's how it works. You don't have to complicate it. The biggest problem is people will take that 5,000 and they got 10, they got 10 different purposes for it. And that's why they shift from different time frames and they shift here. They, they have no understanding what that is. If you have one simple portfolio, that is meant to do one thing on one time frame, not caring about anything else than that specific thing. Now it becomes so much more achievable and so much more understanding, so much more simple. Simplicity is what gets you there, guys. Now you get there and now we're looking at the next business, okay? The next business, I wanna open a car business. I wanna open a house business. You can create whichever priority. I've just put them here together. And ultimately what it means is when I have that 20K business, the first thing, now, now I've built the business. Now I'm ready to expand. I'm ready to build my second business, okay? The first thing I need to do is achieve my goal for that month, get my salary in, fantastic. Then what it means is what am I willing to put in this account to start the next business? Now my ultimate goal is a $20,000 car and a $300,000 house, amazing. But what am I willing to put in? Now the true skill with crypto, and one of my favorite things, I spoke about it this morning, is paying so cheap for stuff that's the same, that that's just as expensive. For example, my car that I bought, $30,000, $35,000, I put $3,000 in the trade. So I traded $3,000 up to $35,000 and I bought my car. So the true power about crypto is understanding that you can set your goals for whatever you want to buy, but it teaches you to pay the price that you want. So if you had the choice right now, now to ask any of you right now, 
that you want to buy a $300,000 house. Will you pay the $300,000 now? Or you put in $10,000 now and a year you go buy that, 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 that house with that $10,000. What will you say? Would you rather wait a year to pay $10,000 now or will you pay the $300,000 straight away now? You know, do you see how it starts to teach you the different way of looking at things where you can actually start building portfolios and start paying for things the way at, at the price that you want to pay? And another way that's even more special than that is when the account gets to a level, right? You can even take that initial capital out and make that damn car for free and make that house for free. Why am I teaching you the power of using money to make more money and make it free? Because it completely detaches the emotion. When it's your own hard earned money and it's your savings and it's these things, you are emotionally attached to that. And that emotion is what's something that drives you to make stupid mistakes and continuously has you like babysitting this thing. When it's free money, you can be a robot. And the reason why I'd say this now, if I had to take this a whole bunch, there's, there's tons of people sitting in the room right now. If I had to give you a game to play, you will, you will do so well in the game. You'll make money in the game. All of us, you all have a game you're good at. You all have something you're good at every single day. You know how to do it because you're not emotionally attached when you're playing a game on your phone or you're doing whatever it is. You, it's easy, right? You can do it. Now, I know so many kids that can make millions of dollars on GTA. They can make so much. They can buy mansions in GTA and stuff like that. And it's like, it's the same thing. It's the same thing in life. Like you've just done it in the game. Like you just have to, it's the emotion attachment that gets you stuck from making that happen. So the true power of this is by you. I want you guys, you know, there was someone this morning that said, You've, you've shown me these businesses. I have enough money to, to create all three now. No, like the goal of this is to not put money in and continue to put money in. That's where it shoots you. You want to put a certain amount of money in and never put money in again. You want to learn how to make the first one a business and then filter it into the next. So jumping back to this, I've come now to two businesses. I only want to put $3,000 for a car and I need to get it to 20K. I want to put $10,000 in for a house and I want to do it to 300K, okay? The first thing I need to do is achieve my 15% to make my salary on that, that uh, account. After that, I need to make $3,000 on that 20K, which is basically a 10%, okay? Once I've made that above my salary, I can open my car business, okay? Then secondly, if I want to create my house business, once I've started my car business, do one at a time. Don't go and just create both one at a time. You can prioritize which one's more important in your life right now. Do you need a car or do you need a house? You prioritize which one you want and you start with that. But you have an understanding of how you can create both. And it's the same with the house business. If your salary, um, if it's 20K for that salary business, you need to make a 50% trade extra in the month or two months. You know, time frames you can decide, guys, with whatever time you have in your life. But that's the percentage that you need, a realistic percentage of what you need. Once you have that, now you start your house business. Okay, cool. Now let's jump onto the next step. Now it's about building that actual uh, business. So what you do now, what does your business need first? It needs a time frame. Okay. Secondly, with the time frame, it needs a structure and then it needs a roadmap. Very simple, right? So if I take my car business, $3,000. And I put it with the eight hour chart strategy, which gives me eight trades a month. Now, remember the initial, the initial, um, one offers me 95 to 110%. That means you get all the trades right, which we know is not possible, right? It's not possible. But with risk to reward and you keep doing that thing, 70% for me is definitely possible. Uh, let's go back over here. So what I've set is 70% a month. So I've given myself losses. I've given myself stop loss hits. I've given myself losing trades throughout those things. 70% a month. Month one, my account will be $3,000. I make the 70% on it. Guys, this can even be two months at a time. Like I'm just showing you the step-by-step -step method. For me, I see myself achieving this per month. Maybe for you, it can be every two months it achieves this. Like you can ultimately see what, what works with you. Let's see, we just got load shedding. But if we have a look here, $3,000, 70%, five, one. After that, month two, five, one, 70%, eight, six. Month three, eight, six, 70%, 14,700. Do you see how all of a sudden, guys, the first three steps are the hardest steps. All of a sudden, it just comes out of nowhere and just blasts away when it gets to the third, fourth step. And you can see here, 
from here, 14,000, 14,000 on a 70%, $25,000. Four months with that structure of 70%, I achieved my car from a 3,000. I actually have 22,000 profits and I have $3,000, which I can pay myself back for that business to open me another business if I want another car, whatever it may be. Let's jump to the next one. Now, the, the next one, the house business. So do you see how you must not be afraid with crypto because everyone thinks I must trade every day? No. So I've changed it now and I've decided that I have a $10,000 account here, but I'm going to use the daily strategy. I'm working. I don't have time. So I can only trade twice a month. Okay. On the current strategy on in the most boring market ever, two trades a month currently offer 60 to 80%. I gave myself the freedom of saying 50% is what I make in a month. Think about it, guys. In the last month, Bitcoin went to 15.5 and then went to 18. And then went back to 50. Like if you go take those, go, go to the stochastic RSI, there was only one buy and one short within the whole of the last month. The stochastic on the daily gave it to you clear in that range. I'll go through some TA now and make sure we remember it's not about TA is 10%. It's the roadmap and understanding the figures and understanding the amounts and when it gets there, what do I do next? And where do I put the money after that? The TA, I'll show you now. We'll make sure we get those entries for the longs and the, 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 the risk is low and these sort of things. But look at the house business. 50%, two trades a month. Month one, 10,000, 15,000. Month two, 15,000, 50%, 22,000. Month three, 22 to 33. Month four, 33 to 50. 50 to 76, here comes the huge jump. 76 to 114, 114 to 171, 171, 256, 256, 384,000. Same repetition, same structure, same thing. Understanding that I know many would be like, hmm, is this realistic? Is this that? Is this that? A simple mathematic system is 100% accurate. You can either be your worst enemy and tell me it's not possible. But for me, I've already given myself losses. I've already given myself structures and I've given myself a stochastic RSI. I've given myself a tool. I've given myself risk to reward. I've given myself all the things that helped me achieve this. I've done 50 X this, more than this, way more than this in, in that time. It, it is extremely possible throughout the, um, through the current market. I think, let me, Stop here for a sec. Guys, doesn't make sense. Pop in the chat. Doesn't make sense. The compounding effect is crazy. The only time compounding becomes extremely unsafe is when it has no limit of what it needs to do. So for me, it's very simple. I want to make a house. I have $10,000 and I got to make it $300,000. That's why I'll compound account. But when that $300,000 is done, that business gets, that money gets taken out, put in a wallet. I go prep to buy the house. I still have that 10K to use that business to build whatever I want next. And ultimately, after that, you can learn to start branching even little businesses in your life. A Christmas business, a shoe business, whatever. Like I've spoken many times about these things, how it starts. But it starts off with the first one, of getting the first one right, of making the salary. Once you've made the salary and you've stepped that road, from that, it branches into the next and branches into the next. And you'll soon see how you start, you, you're able to just start all these branches throughout all of them. So compounding is great when it has an initial and a main target. The problem with compounding is if you don't have a target, this is where the bear market and that destroys, or the bull market destroys you because you have $10,000, you make it $300,000. And then in your head, you're like, this is going to go to $500,000. You never have a cap. And because you never have a cap, you never sell. And that's why you keep going through this, this tsunami wave of these massive gains of being rich and poor. I'm teaching you to make a cap. I'm teaching you to make a roadmap. I'm te teaching you to make every single cent that's in your portfolio to have a purpose and to have a structure and a rule system behind every single cent that's in your portfolio. If you do that and you actually have it, you will be so shocked how far that money takes you and what it creates you in your life. It's when you have money that's there that you have no idea what to do with it. It's not even structured, it's loose money. And that's why it's taken away from you at any point in the market because you have no understanding of what it is. Every single penny in your portfolio needs a purpose. If you give it the love, you give it the purpose, you give it a home, you give it a structure, it's going to make you so much more than what you could ever, ever, ever understand. 
Any questions, guys? <laughs> I think there are hundreds of questions. Um, so we'll try and we'll try and answer as many as many as we can. I see a bunch of people have their hands up. I'm not sure if you have mentioned it, but I did notice a question that had come up earlier again that I thought is worth addressing. So, just around sorry, a quick question, yeah. Yes. What happens if you don't have five thousand? Only have two fifty. Cool. Mm -hmm. Two fifty to five hundred. Five hundred to a thousand. Thousand to two thousand. Two thousand to six to five thousand. Five thousand to ten thousand. Start your roadmap. Get going. You got two hundred fifty dollars. Step one: five hundred dollars. Step two: thousand dollars. What time frame is going to give you that? What time have you got in your life to do that? When it gets to a certain level, when are you going to open the next business? When are you going to dedicate more time to crypto? When are you, start asking yourself all these questions. I don't care how much money you have. You can have $10, you can have this, whatever. If you build step for step roadmap and an understanding that when you get to the next step, where do you go next? You'll be incredibly surprised how quickly it comes and how fast you'll get that $250 to whatever, whatever you want it to do for you, you can. Go for it, Jitta. Awesome. No, I just wanted to touch on that same question that had come up earlier today about when we're talking about businesses, do you mean a different wallet for each, a different exchange for each, just to clarify that for any confusion for anyone in this call? So, so the way it works is all of these timeframes, uh, I'll bring it up on the screen again. If I bring up these timeframes over here, you will see that all of them have maintenance and they have a certain amount of trades you do need to do in a month. So anything that needs to be actively traded in a month will be in an exchange. Okay, any longer time frame. Remember, this is smaller time frames. You get weeklies. Now, for guys that are older or like they have life savings and they have things, you're using the weekly and the monthly charts. Ignore all these small ones. Go do the same thing. Go take the stock RSI. Yeah, let me do it for you. Let me show you. Let's go on to what token should we do? Anyone? Uh, let's do Ethereum. Let's do Ethereum and let me just get rid of, uh, there we go. Let's go to the, the weekly on Ethereum and let's make sure the chart is clean. Let me show you. So ultimately on ETH, if you had to have a look, there's the bottom, there's the top RSIs guys. Look how it calls the bottoms. It's, it's incredible what it actually does. There's the top, there's the bottom, there's the top. Okay, great. Basic understanding of what this chart does for me is a 50%. Let's get another average over here, a 50%. Let's get another average over here, 60%. And let's get another push over here. Wow, 100, 100, 130%, cool. So ultimately out of your last four trades on the weekly chart, which would have taken you basically a year, you, you would have traded four times in the last year, you'd basically look at an average of around 50 to 60% per trade. So what it does for you now is if you're a long term investor, you someone that that has capital now in the higher time frames, you don't need the smaller things right now, you have a house, you have a car, but you have a savings that you want for the rest of your life, you can easily attach it to the higher time frame ones and do the exact same thing. So I only gave you a few examples on the smaller time frames. But you can go understand exactly what a weekly does. You can even go to the monthly and understand what the monthly does for you. End of the day, it's about attaching um, your, your money in your wallet with a purpose and with the strategy. If the money is actively traded, you have it on exchanges. If it's on only two times a year, you can have it in wallets, external wallets. If it's only traded every three years, have it in wallets. So the only money that you have is in exchanges. So for example, I'll start that $5,000 now on a Bybit account, okay? Then I have an OKX account and I have a, um, a BitGet account that are my next two businesses waiting. When I achieve my goal of my first business and I'm able to create my second one, the $3,000 will be sent to my, my OKX or it can be a sub account. Just make sure the accounts are not connected because you're gonna have the temptation when your one business is doing bad to take money from the one and feed the other and that's where it traps you. Um, so I like them on complete different exchanges because then I can't interfere with them. Um, but ultimately, once that 3K is ready, it goes to my OKX. I then start that business. Once the other 10K is ready for my house, that one will then be sent to my BitGet accounts. And then I'll be using those three businesses over there. And do you see how businesses, remember some businesses, guys, have a lifespan. So for example, if you look at a, at a, at a house business, when that house is achieved, you still have that business. So that business can now become a purpose or for something else. So remember, you've got businesses that have lifespans, like your salary business is your salary business. That's something that's going to continue 
and if not only grow and get better when it comes to salary. But your house business, when that's bought, you have that business to build something else now. And that's the way I did it. I did one on how can I, guys, I've started something called The Chosen Ones. And The Chosen Ones is where I took my friends from school and I took my friends, my friends and family in my life and I decided to create a game show. It launches on the 1st of January. I think you're going to be very surprised what Snipe has been doing in his, in his time this year. But I decided to do this exact strategy. I decided to take money like this and I decided how can I change every single one of my favorite friends and my, my true family? How can I change their lives? What is the goal that we need to make this happen? No, we need $50,000 a month. This is what it cost me just to fund my friends and to start this. $50,000 a month is what it cost me. Okay, I couldn't then... Six months ago, it wasn't, wasn't possible. I've managed to build the accounts and use this simple system to get it to a way now where I have every single one of my friends that fly down to Cape Town every month and that record with me and we're about to drop an insane YouTube channel off of this system. That previous account were the ones that helped me pay my rent and bought all of my furniture. When I bought my rent, well, when I paid my rent, my, my, my two years up front in my rent, and I bought my furniture, that business became vacant. So I could use that business to change my friends' lives. And then when my friends' lives are changed, I can use that business to go change people on the streets' lives. Like, do you see how I can keep reusing my business to whatever I need to adjust in my life? It's incredible, guys. It's absolutely incredible. Um, go for it, Gina. So I'm extremely like passionate tonight with this stuff. No, this is awesome. This is, people are loving it, loving it. I think we've got a couple of people lined up waiting to to ask their questions. So let's dive right into the questions. Um, let's start with you, Dion. Go for it. There we go. Hi, hi. What's up, bro? <laughs> uh, are you? <laughs> you muted. I'm not sure why. Sorry. What did you do? I saw okay. the... Sorry. I was just wanting to say. Big thank you to all of you guys ah, at Crypto Banter. Um, my my question is, uh, how do we can we maybe get an example of how to change our strategies when the bull market hits? Just so change that we strategy. know what to expect. Okay, so the only difference is the same percentages, but a lot more of the uh, uh, of the upside. So I'll show you here now. So if you have a look now, it's very obvious that the market is in a in a sideways event, right? So ultimately, if you had to take these percentages from top to bottom, you'll see basically it's offering you a certain amount. Now, if you had to go look at the bull market, it's offering you the same amount of percentages, just slightly more in one direction, okay? But still offering you the exact same. So you remember, naturally by you following the RSI, your strategy is going to adjust automatically without even you having to do more. Think about it because you've just learned the skill of not buying an overbought market and you've learned to not sell an oversold market. So for example, you will, you, this is where your patterns come into play and the understanding of trend lines and the higher time frame views that right now, ETH and Bitcoin, let me just clear up all of this. There we go. Right now you can see it's very clear that ETH and Bitcoin are ranging. Okay. And they're ranging slightly down. You can see there, it's literally ranging same percentages, same sort of, sort of uh, views. As long as you continue to buy in these areas and this all of a sudden decides to break structure and start to make its way up. Firstly, the stochastic RSI is already going to adjust with the strategy, which is beautiful. But ultimately you, you know that the market cycle works in one way, the emotional market cycle. When we've come off a big bear market to the downside, we go sideways. When we break sideways, what happens next? Disbelief. That's the market cycle. It will always remain that cycle. And you'll see that many, many, many times in your journey that what comes next. And ultimately, if we are ranging here and we decide to break this wedge to the upside and we have a high time frame RSI reset here, we even have a higher one, which is completely reset for a long time. Let's actually clear the chart here which is the monthly, which is completely sitting at a way lower point than what it's been for, for, for a long time. You know, you can soon see how the market will start to, to, to uh, shift and obviously change. And automatically by you following the same systems, it's not going to change, bro. You're not going to have to change mentally that much. All the tools that I've given you, the trend lines, the stochastic RSI, the horizontals, the, 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 the um, risk reward tool, it will all work beautifully even if the market shifts into the next phase if the market shifts into the next phase 
you will know by higher time frame breaks as i said the the the, the trend we're forming now and the, the sort of pattern we're forming um but ultimately stick to the same process the same process of selling the rsis at the top and at the bottom it's all about the consistency throughout those times what i will do though is when we do the live trading session i'll go into this a lot more in depth i do have a little bit more i want to possibly just touch on um but i'll go into this uh, it's a great question and i will uh, uh adjust more on this uh, in the live trading session thanks Sheldon. okay cool Cool. Thanks, Dion. I think we're going to take three more questions. We've got Peter lined up, Marco, and then April. Um, and then we'll, we'll close out uh, with these formalities and, and I'll, I'll do a quick, um, what are the next steps and what happens next? And do we have access and all of those things? And of course, announcing the, the winning teams. Um, but let's hear from, let's hear from Peter first. Go for it, Peter. Um, well, I'll say thank you very much once again, but I'll end it there because I could go on about that for ages. So let's say you're going for a £300,000 house, um, but once you've actually got 300000 obviously it's a lot easier to get to, say, 600000 So why wouldn't you use the strategy just say, well, actually, I'm going to go for a 600000 house because I only need, I want a three hundred one, but with that, I can put money back to do my salary and make a higher salary and another car. And So, so, so uh, theoretically, it makes sense. But uh, the market's going to, you're going to end up buying no house. Nothing. And that's, that's something that I can promise you 100%. You're going to buy no house. I'm telling you, it's like, it's crazy. Uh, it's that, bro. And that's why you have to be so, the fact that you even said that, you got to be so strict on yourself on the next bull market that you know exactly what you want and you stick to it. Because if that, because that mind is going to try change, it's going to change it when you're there and it's going to make everything you say, no, a $600,000, a 600 pound house. That's even better. I promise okay. you, if you have that mindset, you're going to end up buying no house. I've been through it many times with my car now. Like when I was buying a car, I went through three times where I was going to buy my car and I never got my car. And then there was the one day I was like, that's it. Like <laughs> I'm here now I'm doing yeah. it. And I finally got my car. And guess what? That Monday, the market dumped. If I never bought that car that day, I would never have bought it again. Like that's the crazy part of it. Be very careful okay. of that and just be structured with that. Incredibly important. Thank you. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Peter. Let's, let's hear from Marco. Hi guys. Thanks very much. Um, if I was to thank you properly, I think I'd need a full hour. So, um, I've, <laughs> I've been crazy. trying to learn as much as I can on YouTube. And I've got to say for any newcomers, I've got to say YouTube is not the place to learn. And you guys have what you've put on in three weeks. Um, I've been studying for a year. I haven't learned as much. So honestly, thank you. Absolutely. Um, my, my so question, does. Sheldon is, is uh, very specific. Um, I'm understanding very clearly your timelines and your timeframes, but, those of us that are more leaning towards degenerate uh, trading, like five-minute time charts, I've got to ask you specifically, have you ever traded? Do you trade the five-minute chart? And if so, is the yes. stochastic RSI a good indicator for that? Or should we be looking at a completely new set of indicators, knowing that there's no holy grail? I accept that. So I don't do five minutes. I do 15 minutes. 15 minutes was always the one that that, that really gripped well for me. Um, but it's the same thing. Remember, the RSI is just going to give you the range. And then trend lines, I really use a lot of trend lines for five-minute yeah. charts because it's just a lot more safer than guessing the bottoms. Because if you don't zoom out and you don't know what's coming next, like, you know, you may be coming to test a 17K support in the five-minute. But what you don't know is you're testing a, a seven-month trend on the weekly and you're buying there on a leveraged account or on a small time frame like account, but you don't actually know on the high time frame, like if this loses this level, like you're about to see your ass. And that's the problem with zooming in so much. So, so trend lines are great for that because you're allowing the bottom to be in, you're lying for confirmation breaks. Um, so I'd use the same, same strategy, same tools, just trend lines a little bit more. Trend lines are a bit better structured for me. It's a great answer. Thanks for taking my question. Cool. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. Cool. Thank you. And then final question from our crowd on, on, online. Um, I'm going to ask April to, to go ahead. And then I'm wondering whether anyone in the crowd at our banter headquarters wanted to share anything before we, we start closing our official session up, but let's go with April in the meantime. Hi from Las Vegas. And I wanted to say thank you. I've been in crypto for almost three years. And in the last three weeks, this has completely changed my thinking. I look at crypto in a different way now which Incredible. After three years going from the ups and downs now i have a direction which Fantastic. has just been 
experience. So well I do still have a question for you about the profit, the taking profit. I looked at that video again after you answered my question uh, last week. And in the video, you go through and you state that you go ahead and you set your stop loss. And then once you've done that, you go ahead and you do take profit, but I'm still locked out. I can't set that take profit once my stop loss is in place. Did we ever figure out, can we not do this on spot and only on margin? Did we find out? Does yeah, anybody so, know? So, so I actually found the answer um, on Bybit specifically, you need to go set it up buy your crypto on spot with no stop loss, no take profit. And then you need to use conditional as your option. Oh, uh, that's what it is. It is. It's conditional. Then you'll need to set up the condition for all three separately. So you'll need to set up your, your take profit, your stop loss, as well as any uh, take profit levels that you've got. Okay, cool. Thank you. Amazing, April. Oh. No problem. Thank you, April. So, I, so Gina, Jackie, we have so many people waiting there. I want to go spend time and go, go, go see for sure, everyone. For sure. I'm going to let so, you off the hook now. Um, I'm got, going to take, sorry, go for it. Uh, I got one last thing just to, to close off here. We will have a powerful live trading session together and I'll still be on Discord, guys. Um, last thing. If you have a look over here, step for step method you've learned time frames now and you've learned structure create yourself a step for step method when it comes to this now okay it comes to the simplicity of if the market's moving in a clear direction okay you're then using a fibonacci if it's not moving and it's going sideways you don't use fibonacci you still use the um support resistance and the stock rsi and the same sort of tools but ideally there's four major tools for you to focus on and you have the steps my step one is when I'm looking at very clear that this market has made a leg to the upside, I want to buy the pullback. Where's the 618? It gives me this area. That's step one, identifying where is 618, where's 786. Secondly, I then go look at where's the nearest support near that. And I see their support there and that becomes a support zone. Thirdly, I put in my stock RSI. Okay, when it gets to the bottom there and I'm at 618 and I'm at support, I'm allowed to ladder in. I'm allowed to enter in 50% of my trade, okay? I'm either then putting my stop loss under this previous low, or I'm putting on my 786, which I'll show you guys now. I'll do the, the risk to reward tool on the next page. Then what I have is my step four. My step four is my adding tool. The reason why I'm buying 50 to 60% here is in case it goes wrong and I do get stopped out and it just minimizes my risk and it makes my, my uh loss a lot smaller if I only have 50% of my position. So I'll enter 50, 60% of my position. And then what happens is when I break trend, then I'm allowed to add my rest in, my other 50% in, because now it's a confirmation indicator. And then from that, then I, I, I start moving my stop under the previous low and I allow the trade to play out. Secondly, remember what you do first uh, is this is my step for step, planning out my trade. Okay, so I've drawn up all my stuff. Now I have an understanding, okay, cool. This is how I want to take the trade. Now it's time to take the trade and actually structure it. And this is where your chart becomes clean. Now you don't have to have all the mess and everything all over the place. You know, if you're trading it on your exchange, keep the chart clean now because you've gotten your analysis and you've gotten your areas. Then what you do is now I've come down that this is where the major buy zone is for me. This is the low I don't want to cross where my stop loss would go. Then what you do is you put your risk to reward tool and my risk to reward tool, I see it's not clicked on there, but it showed me a, a 4% loss and it showed me, uh, I think it was a 22% gains. It was a risk to reward ratio of one to seven to the upside. And you can see my TPs were on these levels over here. Now, remember, I have these little resistances here and I could have said, oh, but what happens if I wanted to take profit here because here's resistance. That's not worth me to take the trade. When you saw Gareth Soloway sit here, he said, what's risk to reward right now for shorting Bitcoin? Either you get 8,000 to the downside or you get 30,000 to the upside. It's the same thing over here. If you know that this is the nearest resistance and you want to possibly put a, 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 a take profits there, is it worth to take the trade? Is it worth to, you will lose $100 if it gets stopped out and you'll make $100 if it gets right. That's a 50-50. That's a gamble. That's like a, that's not a good trade. So for me, it's like, let me move my risk to reward and let me see where is a decent level 
that it's worth it. And here was a one to seven risk to reward. And there was two clear resistance points over there. Once I've entered this trade and it starts to play out, I'm tracking my stochastic RSI on that higher time frame. If it gets to this area over here and my RSI is at the top and I have a trend line at the bottom and we start to lose, I can take profit slightly earlier. That's okay to take some off the table. But ultimately, this trade is the trade that I wanted. It's the only trade that's worth me taking. And you, you have to learn to be extremely um, you know, strict that I'm only taking this trade if it's going to make me this money. And you can see how beautifully this is set out. Now, it's the same thing when it comes to shorting. Very simple. You have your four-step method. You have a token that is going up, right? But you can clearly see that on a higher time frame, we are still in a downtrend. There's no higher highs yet just yet. So what you do is you take your Fibonacci step one from the top to the bottom. Where's the 618? Where's the 786? It gives me an area. Okay, cool. Where's my nearest resistance to those areas? There and there. Now I know, okay, there's an area. Where's my trend line? There's my trend line to add more to the position. Where's my RSI? So step one, FIB, step two, resistance, step three, RSI. You're only short when the RSI is at the top. Step four, where do I add to my position? Now I jump back in here. There's the simplified trade. That's where I put my stop loss. Risk to reward ratio, that's my take profits, which was a previous level. And ultimately, this is a one to five risk to reward. I am buying 50% when it gets to 618. And I'm adding the rest on the break of trend. Guys, this is how we're going to continuously tweak. And my shows are there every day where I'll jump from moving averages. I'll jump from stochastic RSIs. You're going to continuously get me on the shows every day, playing with indicators and tools. And you're going to always take that information and adjust. The biggest thing that I needed you to do in this whole course is to understand the purpose of the money in your portfolio, that it all needs a purpose, to have an understanding that everything is going to try change you when the bull market comes. And it's so important to prep yourself and get yourself ready for that. It's important to have a rule system. It's important to get sleep at night. It's important to spend time with your family and make money. Like it's important just to have this foundation now because it makes life easy. If you take trading on in the wrong way, it, it's very addictive. It, it can actually create a lot more damage than good. So I wanted to get the understanding that it's the, un, the, 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 the knowledge of making money and how to create businesses and not having to continuously fund, you know, remove emotion from it. And that skill, you're going to get my TA every day on the show. You're going to get Kyle's TA on the show. You're going to get Gareth's TA every few days. There are 50 good TA guys in the world out there. You're going to continuously find new tools that you can use to get better at trading. The skill comes in understanding what you want in this space. I am privileged to be here today. I'm privileged that you guys were the first ones that came and did this with me and gave me the confidence to teach again. I was losing the spark in me with teaching uh, and you guys brought it all back to life. So I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm proud of every single one of you. And I know we got this together. The bull market will come again. Keep working hard right now. And I promise you, we're going to make it happen. Thank you all for giving me this chance and this opportunity. Amazing. Thank you, Sheldon. Thank you so much. I'm going to let you go out and, and hang out with the crowd there that's at the offices. But uh, Grant, I'm sensing you want to jump in and say something. Yeah. Um, look, I, I think uh, perhaps uh, just before the admin, just for a moment, I wanted to share something. Um, it's the people behind the scenes that make all the difference. And guys, this being you know the, one of the final calls and of this particular course and of Sniper School and it coming together so fast, it's just a few people. I literally want to take one minute to thank and it's it's the unsung heroes it's all the mods you guys are amazing t-man canada chill chaos finola mason maxillin x sunshine terry lynn crypto jackie where's the z and of course miss kim you are so humble and behind the scenes and just supporting everyone all the time and always with a positive attitude it is just inspiring and amazing and Gina as well, and you are such an asset to this team. And, and Tom, I have to mention you, my brother. <laughs> Guys, you've hardly heard from Tom there, but he is the servant leader behind the scenes who has been the solid foundation and the pillar that holds the whole team together. He is the humble, brilliant, and dedicated. And without him, honestly, I, all I can say is it's, it's an honor to be building the new world with a man of such caliber, setting ourselves in the right direction. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to honor a few people and just say thank you so much. And thanks, everyone. 
Awesome. Thank you, Grant. I second everything you said. And actually, just to point the the mic in the back in your direction, every single piece of content that you see has been driven by Grant on probably less than two hours of sleep for the last last three to four months so grant this course would not be what it is with without your heart and passion and dedication so thank you sir for for bringing the course to to the world with sheldon um and on that note i want to share with you that this is not the end this is really just the beginning and and that's what makes this um this whole thing super exciting and just really want to say thank you to every single one of you for for your contributions um yeah through the conversations in the discord and just keep keep at it and don't go away. This is this is really just the beginning. So have a have a beautiful day. And to the crowd in Cape Town, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves tonight. Go and have fun with the crowd and the crew and with Sheldon. Um, and yeah, take care, everybody, and all the best for the next step in your trading journey. Lots of nice. love from me and the team. Bye bye. <laughs> Cheers, guys. You guys, you can always go back and rewatch any individual tool and the videos won't expire you won't suddenly lose access you're all part of the crypto school family for life even the live event videos will remain available discord community isn't going anywhere and the bull market is coming so put your foundations in now and let's go guys i want to remind you again the cohort is filling up very fast it's the three simple steps use an exchange link below and deposit a hundred dollars if you already have a pre-existing account open a different exchange and deposit the hundred dollars and then you're going to register for sniper school and then you're going to put in your user id get your spot now I believe Bitcoin flies. I believe it touches the sky. <laughs> Have a good weekend, everyone.